Publication 502 discusses the type of expenses you can and can't deduct. It also explains when you can deduct capital expenses and special care expenses for disabled persons. Okay, examples of medical and dental payments you can include in calculating your total medical expenses. So clearly, once we get into the realm of saying, is it worthwhile to have our medical expenses that we're going to be calculating? Because the general idea would be, if they're not itemizing and, they, and we have no, we're not even close to itemizing, then it might be the case that we don't have enough medical expenses that are going to push us over because the main thing that pushes people over usually isn't medical expenses, but rather the ownership of a home. And so if it's not worth us basically adding those up, it might not be worthwhile. But if we have a significant medical situation in one year versus the prior year, it might be, of course, worth checking out. And if we did itemize and we are itemizing,